Greetings. I'm Edis. I'm Ben. And we're going to give you a Pixar movie reaction for the new Pixar movie, Luca. I'm excited. Let's go. I mean, I love it already. This is great. Download the soundtrack, please. Many strange things have been seen in these waters. They're all just stories. Tall tales to keep us away from a great fishing spot. Sick record player. He's beginning the jaws. What was that? A buoy? Oh. What? A buoy? <laughs> I don't know how to say that word. Oh, what a monster! Is this how Ariel gets all of her thingabobs? Ah! Fish out of the barn! Fish out of the barn! Katerina! <laughs> Why did that fish just bar like a sheep? <laughs> Disney presenter, that's cute. Presente. Giuseppe? What did we just talk about? Ah, oh, Giuseppe. Do you think we're going to see the fish from Nemo just in the background somewhere? Dory's lost. <gasps> Land monsters! Everybody under the rock! Ah, it's that Monster Zinc thing. The monsters are scared of the peoples. Who's the real monster? So is he like the modern day Ariel then? Just Literally collecting all these who's it's and what's it's galore from the land, all these thingabobs. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Is he obsessed with like the land people and then he's gonna wanna go up where they walk, up where they talk? Makes sense. <gasps> if this plays underwater, I will not be happy. <gasps> <gasps> That must be so scary. <laughs> Someone should do a movie reverse, like they're human and then when they step into the ocean they're fish. What fish would you want to be? Ooh. Would you want to be a made up fish or would you want to be a fish that we know and love? <laughs> we know and love. Like a crab. No, I want to be a flipping little dolphin, let me flip for you. <laughs> oh look at me, I'm a flipping little dolphin, let me flip for you. Grandma? Did you really go up to the... Well, that was scary. That's cool. That was really cool. <gasps> Wait, it feels like it's still there. Yeah, that's called Phantom Tail. You'll get used to it. Where does the tail go, though? I think that's what we're talking about now. But, like, where does it go? I don't know. Like, it's a big old tail. Like, he's still got two arms, he's still got two legs. He's basically the same size, but he has a massive tail that's just... Did it go inside? It's a human thing. I'm kind of an expert. What does it mean? The, the thing you just said? Gravity, also known as... Falling! Oh. Uh -oh. Then they not die. Maybe because they're like monsters, they got superpowers? Nah, I think though if those bronzes were in there, splat. Ah, yes, that's the magic singing lady machine. It's broken, unfortunately. Whoa, you, you unbroke it. Would that still work after being underwater? And if you've never seen human things before, would you know to pick something up and put it exactly in the right hole and then turn it? Have you seen that video of people who like never seen like an old house home before and they have to like try and work out how to call? Oh, like a dial up. Or like a VHS Like type. how long that takes them, as they're human. And yes. Like this guy just... Yeah, they get like an old tape and they're like, what is it? Yeah. Hello? <laughs> I was born in the 40s, so I had no idea what you're talking about. Can to tell us where you were? Uh... That's my fault. I sent him to look for sea cucumbers. Right. Mm. Sorry, mm. Grandma. Grandma passes the vibe check. You ready to write it? Oh, well, thank you, but no thank you. I mean, I just think maybe I would die. <laughs> Did you see 
see the height I got? Hey, nice ramping. Come on, let's build another one. Well, that was gross. <laughs> For Halloween this year, do you want to dress up as these two, but the fish form? That's a lot, but that, yes. That'd be sick though, wouldn't it? Yeah, it? People will be doing that for sure, or like dead versions of them. Oh no, just the nice version. <laughs> I'm doing it, Alberto! I'm doing it! I touched the butt. That's a cool show. Yeah, really cool. I love the colours as well when they turn into like the fish people. How do we get in? Pirates Caribbean. Oh, they jack sparrowed their way in. Edna, who wants to watch me eat a big sandwich? Eat a big sandwich! <laughs> there it is. That's how we're gonna see the world. Hey, little help! Relatable. I gotta deliver these. Always be training, you know. <laughs> we should ask her about this Porto Rosso cup. Just pick his nose. <laughs> Legend. Inflict it. Legend. When you race in a cup, what do you get? Soldi, prize money. See, in this film, they keep saying like Italian words and then English words. In the Italian translation, what do you think they do? Oh, that's a very good point. You guys want it just as bad as I do. You have the hunger. That's the most important thing. I'm definitely hungry. I got a bit of Hermione Granger vibes from her then. Definitely. And now I'm now just looking at all the rhythm, like Ron, Harry and Hermione. There's Luca, Harry, Alberto's Ron and Julia's Hermione. Ops. I see that, I see that. <laughs> bravo, Figaro, bravo, bravissimo, bravo. Mangiamo. He has one arm. He's been through some stuff. Oh no. Where did your boys say you were from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me. We could help. You know fish. Oh, we we know lots of fish. They're gonna kill fish. Their own people. The sea monster ate it. <gasps> what? Ma <laughs> no. This is how I came into the world. Whoa. Representation. Yeah, that is good, because we're so used to, like, if you've got a facial disfigurement or some sort of disability. Something bad happened, someone attacked you. But no, but also it means that they're, like, potentially, like, evil, evil villain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's well, gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's still intimidated. <laughs> But he's, he also seems pretty chill at the moment. But a disability is usually like a negative. Yeah, yeah, but he's like bossing it. We're going to win. I love your confidence, but don't forget, we're going to have to go Champion through. Champion coming through! <sighs> ciao, ciao, hey! Ercole. Isn't it weird, in Italian, ciao is hello and goodbye? Yeah, it's like aloha. Just hello and goodbye. I think so. I'm afraid your friends still need to pay the out-of-town weirdo tax. Hey, Ercole, you have to give it back. There's just straight up thievery going on. Stop his money. See? Everyone, even you. Pop. Oh, that's it. Come on, Luca. Hey, the burger. <laughs> wow, get better. Silencio, Bruno. Love that. Luca, bravo, we did it. Oh, jealousy. Now, is Alberto jealous because she's stealing his friends? Or is he jealous of him for becoming friends with her? Yeah. <laughs> and remember, Piccoletto! His butt. This dude named Michael used to buy motorcycles. Stars are circled by planets. Look. That's Saturno. It's my favorite. That telescope is sick. <laughs> How quick? Also, she should be an astronomer. How quick was she like, look, <laughs> in focus, pinpointed on Saturn. Amazing! That was ridiculous. It's the lightest of the planets. They say if there was an ocean big enough to hold it, it would float in it. Whoa! It's quite a cool fact. If there was an ocean big enough to hold it, it would float in it. Oh, cause why? Because it's, it's a gas. It's a it's a gas planet. What does that mean? Uh, it's not like made of rock. It's made of gas. 
Science. <laughs> oh, Pinocchio reference. Pinocchio Italian. Geppetto, oh. Pinocchio, Figaro, uh. Cleo. Wow, a lot of those. <laughs> like even bigger than Porto Rosso? Like Genova. Literally 20 times bigger. And we're all on a big round Donald rock. Duck. That is some dodgy Donald Duck, bro. What kind of budget? This is a drowsy duck. <laughs> I do know that Donald Duck has like comic books that still run in some parts of Europe. So maybe Italy's one of those ones where, you know, Donald Duck was super popular. I era. swear that's a thingy from Finding Nemo. That does look like duh. Doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> but why was she ever on a wall? I'm guessing it's meant to be her, as in. Oh yeah, it's probably just that. And what? A universe full of galaxies. Uh, and then what? And then, I wish I could show it to you. Just promise you tell me everything you see. I love how excited he is about science. Like that was literally me as a kid, like with planets hanging on my ceiling and stuff. Would you believe someone if they said that the fish were in the sky? No, I'd get my encyclopedia out and be like, look, no fish. What do you think is gonna happen when they see your fish face? Hey, look who it is. He just threw a spear at the head. You know, people think I'm a nice guy, always joking around. But really, I'm not. Stop! Wait your car, Piccoletto. Did he just call him a Cornetto? I don't think so, but I was gonna say, where are his shoes? Why does he still not have shoes? Why is he picking on little kids? Yeah, what's this guy's deal, huh? How old is he? I want to make myself very clear. This is my town, number one. <coughs> and number two, I don't want you in it. I, I said stop. Yes, Put Luca. Calm down, Piccoletto. You'll hurt yourself. Let him go. Come through, what? friendship. What would you do if you literally speared him in the gut? I'd say this isn't a Pixar movie. <laughs> Stabbed that sea monster so quickly. There's not even like a hesitation. What would you do in life if there was a like this was a thing? Would you would you kill it? No, I would not kill. What would you do? Him or her? It. They're people too. Are they? I would befriend them and get them to teach me their ways of swimming underwater. Yes. Can you cut gills right here? <laughs> <laughs> Pressing the cap. Uh, Julia, your school. Does it take all kinds of people? I mean, what if some of them were so not human? He's gonna out him. Cool. What if some were. Oh, I don't know. Sea monsters? So let me just show you. No! <gasps> oh, he's out on himself. Don't hurt us! See? I knew this would happen. Sea monster! No, Luca! This way! Luca? Oh, the way he said Luca. Luca? Oh, the betrayal. Oh, God, no. <laughs> that was, that was quick. What, him turning on his friend? Yeah. I thought he was made of stronger stuff than that. I didn't see that coming. No, neither did I. I thought he was going to push Luca into the water. Why did he drop into the water like this? Yeah, it was a bit dramatic. It was a bit dramatic. <laughs> he um, could have just like dipped his toe and been like, look, see, I'm a fish. Yeah, like sprinkle a bit of water like that. It's just not worth it. You don't understand. No, I don't. Risking your life for a Vespa? <laughs> that should be the title of the movie. It's kind of dumb when you think yeah, about it. Yeah. <laughs> They're risking their lives for a Vespa. Goodbye, Julia. I'm sorry. So many questions. Why didn't, why, is she not like, okay, how is this happening? So you're a sea monster. Where does your tail go? <laughs> does it go up the butt? Luca, that's crazy. Well, maybe I'm crazy. Take me. Gravity! Luca! <laughs> you're lucky the gardener didn't come and cut back those shrubs. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody saw that. Oh, 
Oh, it's gonna rain. Just stay right there. Alberto. I'm coming for you. Oh. Yeah. Santa Ricotta. She say Harry Potter. <laughs> Jesus. Out of the way. There was no need for that. You should have left when I told you. Now. What was he? Part of Cirque du Soleil? Okay, Skills. We're afraid of you. Everyone is horrified and disgusted by you because you are monsters. Stop! They're not monsters! Oh, yeah? Who are they then? They are the winners. Oh. <laughs> it's lovely. But they've all come round very, very quickly. quickly. They were literally about to, to harpoon spear them. them and spear them to the death. And then like... What changed? The moustache man was like, they are Alberto and Luca and they're the winners. That turnaround, it's lovely, but highly unrealistic. Because <laughs> this is a film that needs realism. Try Wizard Cup. It's a porky! Don't touch it! <gasps> I thought that. I didn't. How am I gonna know you're okay? It's like when I left for Australia the first time. You got me off the island, Luca. I'm okay. Harry Potter off to Hogwarts. <laughs> and that was Luca. <laughs> What's your favorite part of Luca? That scene on the beach where Alberto outed himself. Yeah, that and was... then Luca just betray the betrayal. So the betrayal quickly. scene. So quickly. That's when the film got real for me. That was too late, in my opinion. It felt like we were just like playing with like the surface level. And yeah, that's a war reference. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Just felt like it took a while to like. There was a couple of twists at the end, which I think were really good. Yeah. Um, but it was pretty much what I expected up until that point of it just kind of just being a nice film. And it was a nice film, so it kind of ticked the boxes for me. Let us know in the comments what did you think of Luca and who was your favourite character. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit that notification bell. Ding! And uh, we'll see you soon. Anything to say? That was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, I'm Edis. And I'm Ben. You said something. You said do one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. No, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll no, go for it. I'll go for it. Greetings. <laughs> Sorry, I could just hear us going, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs>